Well, we've heard it all from video games where guns apparently in video games promote violence. And this is where the story is going to take today because it's Pride Month. One video game decided to give you extra things, give you some extra skins. And there's been an uprise in one particular skin over the trans community skin that they have added to bullets in a game. Now, of course, we're going to look at an archive from Kotaku out of all articles here, talking how this has become a conspiracy theory, how rage baiting articles like this continue to push the agenda driven in these games. Now, before I get fully into the details, hear me out, subscribe to the channel, come on back and just listen to what I have to say. It doesn't matter if you like or dislike this video. It doesn't matter if you leave a comment with or with against. At this point, it's a very sensitive topic for a lot of people. And I think it's one that's worth speaking about. Call of Duty's trans bullets are the latest right wing conspiracy rage bait. And this even is, is talking about libs of TikTok and other, other users of Modern Warfare 3 Pride Month camos push transphobia. This has been the ongoing issue. You, you're not allowed to talk about anything to do with this particular community because if you do talk anything, if you criticize anything that you are seeing online, it suddenly becomes uh, transphobic, it suddenly becomes a mental health breakdown, and it, it, it's the unacceptable situation of everything. For those that are suffering, uh, that do have gender dysphoria, I hear you and I, I see it. I know a few. And it's not something that is to, to be taken light of. And that's where the talk back on this is, is a big deal because we have seen in the last year or couple of years that some situations down in the United States, I'm up here in Canada, some situations down here in the United States uh, where there's a mass shooting and the people behind those mass shootings tend, uh, were identifying as something that they are not. And that's the situation here. There are people that legitimately are going through a process that they try and do everything and then things like this come up and it actually disparages those people that are trying to find a way through life. And that's where this has become a really big deal where you've got to step back and go, is this actually the right thing to do? So a possible Call of Duty bug is call causing a new Pride fee themed cosmetic to paint the bullets in one version of the game's guns, the colors of the transgender flag. Apparently this is a bug. I don't believe it's a bug. I believe it's a skin. Right way rage jockeys are seizing to peddle transphobia conspiracy theories so idiotic they would be laughable if not for the real world threats underlying the outrage. Well, I, I, I'm just going to discount this right off the bat. Yes, this is being written by Ethan Gawk, but if you scroll all the way to the bottom of this article, it was also additional reporting by Alyssa Mercante. She has stepped her ugly head. She can't put her name on the articles anymore. It has to be in a footnote. That's what she has been deemed to now. Alyssa McConte being the Kotaku editor that has to put out uh, hit lists for several people out in the YouTube space. Uh, it's unclear if this is a bug. At one point during testing, the bullets of the cartridge were the only paint color of the trans flag. It's extremely idiosyncratic, reflecting of how Call of Duty's complex shader system interacts, yada, yada, yada. They're, they're, they're saying this bug and the shaders, whatever. Of course, the fact that trans bullet narrative is bunk doesn't really matter. It hasn't stopped for Libs and TikTok and others accounts from peddling 
baseless or misleading stories in the past, the right wing refrained from scourge of violence penetrating by queer people blew up in 2022. Ahead of the election, Florida don't say gay ban, which if you actually read the bill, they were just trying to take things back a notch. And conservatives starting accusing gay, transgender, and liberal people they didn't of sexual predators and conspiracies stating on circulating online claiming that Uvlod, Texas mass shooting, uh, sh school shooting was actually transgender. Uh, it now has become mainstream conservative talking point to blame gun violence on trans rights activists. It's funny that they bring up uh, the Uvlod uh, school shooting because Activision is uh, over Call of Duty is actually being sued over the game promoting gun violence and the person that was the, the that was the person that did that was a avid player from my understanding activision is manipulating players brain chemistry ignoring use by minors the families of multiple victims of the 2022 mass shooting of Uvalde's Robb Elementary School are suing Activision in California civil court, alleging the company's Call of Duty games act as a training camp for mass shooters. The lawsuit, obtained by Polygon, compares Activision Call of Duty's marketing to a cigarette industry's use of now barred spokesperson Joe Camel putting the games company in a widely lucrative business of training adolescents to become gunmen. So the big question here is if this <laughs> they're they're putting this skin, this skin on the bullets, showing that they are transgender bullets, right? And the Uvlad shooting victims are now suing Call of Duty Activision over grooming people into uh, a situation that they would go and promote and do things like this. Where's the line? Kotaku is now calling this a right-wing conspiracy rage bait. Meanwhile, they're actually being sued over similar scenarios. So. The big question here is, is th was this really a good idea to paint bullets as transgender? Well, if you look at the history of things to doing with uh, what you're doing with uh, bullets in a video game, um, Jagad Ammo pork lace bullets designed to send Muslims straight to hell. So people went out there and laced bullets in in pork fat or something like that and and it, it sparked up a bunch of islamophobia over this situation so what's the difference here from painting transgender bullets now you're shooting people in a video game and is this now not hate towards straight people is that not the same idea at this point so let's let's scroll back here and take a real look at this we now have uh call of duty they're painting bullets transgender they're shooting majority of people that are playing these games that are not transgender uh in in a effort to promote pride month and promote uh transgenderism uh in the sense but in a way that it's now being deemed that the gun violence in call of duty is so hateful that somebody went out and picked up a rifle and went and shot and many victims uh happened in the uvlad situation down in the states this is why people are speaking out against this this is why people are saying, if you're going to paint bullets transgender, now you're spreading and promoting hate towards people in another fashion, especially when there was an uprise and many, many things about uh, the bullets fighting Muslims in the these real world settings. This is a real situation and it's not such that it's a conspiracy rage bait. 
It's people bringing light that this is not a good light. This is not the good thing that they they think that they're doing here, pandering to it being Pride Month. This is a very strange thing to me to see that trans gendered bullets are such a, a existence in a Call of Duty. Um, is it nothing more than a skin? Yeah, does it promote hate? Well, you know what, hate speech exists, but doesn't have, uh, in, but it, it's still within the freedoms of expression out there. Uh, you know, it, people don't like it, um, and I understand that. But in this situation, if you're going to paint bullets uh, with the transgender logo, is it any different than going around and, you know, having the outrage of the paint, you know, dipping your bullets in pork fat? to try and uh, get a one up on somebody. This is this is disparaging and it's not something that I think Call of Duty should be doing. I don't think uh, this type of thing promotes anything good. Uh, I, I think it really does bring down the whole idea that, oh, it's Pride Month, you know, Pride Month is being celebrated pretty much every day of every year. A lot of people just don't care anymore and they go, cool, you're gay, that's great. You're, you can have whatever relationships you want in the bedroom. Nobody cares out in the real world. That That's the difference here. When they're being sued over this in the first place, and then they they, they take this step and go a, a step further. And of course we have Kotaku and Alyssa Mercante sitting there saying, oh, hey, this is just rage bait. No, it, 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 this is a legitimate thing. Thing like, People, you know, Alex Jones lost his entire career over this, over the, you know, over saying things about this uh, situation. And now it comes down to where it, it, it's a good thing. This is not a good thing. This is absolutely disparaging. Um, and this is where it is now. You know, those that are actually having issues, having to question their own uh, individuality, they're the ones that are getting completely lost in the mess here and falling through the cracks at this point. And it really does a disservice to the actual people that the, the point five percent of the people of the population that are actually having a problem out there. And that is why a lot of people speak up about this. That is why this has become such a big deal. I'm your proud Canadian Phoenix Center Shadow. I'm signing off here. Have yourselves a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And you know what? Since the talk and topics come up, I understand uh, it, it's not a nice thing to talk about at all. And I generally try to avoid these things. But when it's when, you know, sometimes politics find you and that's where it is at this point. Uh, it, it's everything I've seen in the last little bit. This is just an absolute ridiculous way for a company to promote these types of things. And I think it does a real disservice to a lot of people. Thanks for watching. Have yourselves a great day.